Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about everyday perfume for spring. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Okay. So I'm going to share my scent of the day actually. Because I haven't done that in a while. I never really seem to share my scent of the day. But I'm wearing Pink Me Up by Atelier Des Ours. This is basically rose and champagne and some sweetness. This is so amazing. Bottle is stunning. Perfume lasts long. It smells amazing. Crowd pleasing. Not really one I wear every day. Only because it's quite pricey. But I definitely wear it and absolutely love it for this time of the year. I was going to post my Essence vlog. And then I realized that I hadn't, ha I don't have my microphone on in that video. And I was contemplating just refilming it. But I'm just like, no, because it took me so long to film that video. It's going to take me even longer to edit it. So when that video comes out, um, I'm hoping it will come out sometime this week. Please forgive the volume if it's quite low. Just turn it up a little bit when you're listening to the video. It's not that bad. But because I've been using a microphone for a while now, I sound, uh, sound like me. <laughs> but it's quite low. So please bear with me when that video um, <clears throat> goes live sometime this week. Now, I love spring. I'm so happy we're finally at spring. Um, fortunately, UK weather is just it's so depressing it's so depressing it's raining it's not as cold to be fair but it's raining and it's not giving very much spring but because we're already in spring i'm just in that springy vibe so i wanted to share perfumes that i feel like will be perfect for anyone and for daily basis like you don't have to think about these perfumes they are easy rich perfumes they are ones you can wear to work they are ones you can wear when you're working from home and i'm gonna start with body mist because majority of the time i'm working from home and yes i still wear perfume at home like i wear perfume all the time like literally all the time i'm wearing my perfumes this is why i have a lot of dents in my perfumes because i spray them and i also wear them now i'm going to kick it off with all the Sol de janeiro perfume sprays i feel like these are just great they are cheap they smell fantastic and they have an average lasting power. Now, I've got the 62 here. This is the OG, the first one, which is like a salted caramel kind of scent. This is perfect for all year round, in my opinion. It's really, really good for layering. And I tend to wear this a lot when I'm working from home. If I don't really want to wear a perfume, I normally will reach for a body spray. And it's normally 62. Although it's not my favorite, so de Janeiro, but it's one that I reach for the most. Um, moving on to this one. This one has been discontinued. This one is called Anita. This was done in collaboration with some star. I don't know. But um, it's got pineapple patchouli musk. And I think it's got passion fruit, if I'm reading that right. This is so fruity. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of my pineapple by Dolce & Gabbana. That one is also sadly discontinued. I'm so sorry. A lot of the perfumes I actually own in my collection are discontinued. And the reason why I don't speak about them often because they're hard to find. And when you do find them, they're so expensive. And it just feels like it's not worth the hassle. Um, but Anita is a really nice, fresh spring pineapple scent that smells so, so stunning. I don't know why the discontinued day, but it is what it is. Um, the next one is um, 40. This one is my favorite. Now, this one has got some plum and vanilla. This is the fruity Sol de Janeiro. I do have a Sol de Janeiro video on my channel. I will link it below if you want to check it out. I'll try and put in the cards as well. 40 is fruity perfect for this time of the year and last but not least it's a newer one which is called bikini season now i barely use this one only because i forgot about it but this one has um guava nectar and it's got some vanilla i believe you definitely get the guava vibe doesn't exactly um replicate the scent of guava but you do get a vibe of it this one is a really tropical smelling perfume that i really love i think you can still find this but don't quote me look online or if i can find the link i will link it below moving on to the perfumes we have belle de jour by christian dior this perfume is literally my go-to for spring and summer it's got this ice cream note that i really love it's a fresh watery 
musky sweet perfume not so sweet not so sweet it does dry down very subtle and it does become a skin scent after i want to say four hours so the longevity is not that great the scent profile is definitely 10 out of 10 the projection is not it's not one that really projects maybe around half an arm's length <laughs> uh, maybe someone like literally right in front of you will smell this perfume i would say if you wanted to get this just get the 40 mil i'm really extra i got the 250 mil because i do have all my uh, all my christian dior Privé line are in this bottle size and i just want to keep it that way it's just a me thing but yeah belle de jour is a really i believe it's got rose it's a very subtle soft this is kind of like a quiet money kind of perfume i really love it now we have prada paradox this perfume is absolutely gorgeous this reminds me of your regular fruity floral perfume think of my way by Giorgio armani think of donna bon in roma very easy floral sweet <laughs> dries down vanilla basic but a really nice basic scent that is so inoffensive you can wear it to work i do get a lot of compliments with paradox i love the bottle definitely going to get paradox intense because that is so addictive i think the vanilla in that one is so hyped up not hyped up it's so intense that i just i just have to have it in my collection but this one is fresher it's not as sweet because the vanilla is not as forward this is more of a floral fresh and sweet perfume that isn't going to offend anyone like i said smells really good easy reach you don't have to think about it it's actually perfect for daily wear and it's also really good as a signature scent next we have chance or tundra by chanel this is my favorite chanel if you've been following my channel for a while you know that every spring i pull this out every summer i pull this perfume out this is a feminine floral fruity perfume it has a note of quince which i don't usually like in perfumes but in this one it really works perfectly it's also quite musky but more so in the dry down you get a little bit of a greenness in the opening but it does dry down like a nice sweet powdery scent that also is more like a skin scent after a while but it's definitely a likable perfume it, it feels young it feels fresh because for me a lot of those chanel perfumes are not giving young and fresh i find their perfumes to be a little bit dated at times um this is the reason why this one is the only one i really like i feel like their private line they have a lot more selection of perfumes that smells quite modern they smell really good they can compete with a lot of high-end perfumes but the ones that are like their average like their regular line i find them to be a little bit dated that's just my opinion but i feel like this one and also the other perfume smells really good this is the other toilet i like this one better because it's lighter fresher and area and a lot more likable so that is chance or tundra by chanel the next perfume is Rose Sherry by Guerlain. I actually add this customized. I don't know if you guys can see my name there. Let me see. Can I? Yeah. Okay, there we go. I had it customized. I've got Abby written on it. And on the left-hand side, I've got a little heart. I love Rose Sherry. This is expensive smelling. Like, you know, like, okay, people like to do videos and say, oh, you know, these perfumes will make you smell rich, this and that. And then you, you you smell the perfume and you're just like, no, it doesn't make you smell rich. Rich people don't wear those perfumes. I'm actually going to do a video on this topic at some point where people like to come out here, tell you that if you wear sugar food, you're going to smell like old money. No, you're not. You're not. How many old money people have you sat with to know what they smell like? The thing I found about rich people they smell different. <laughs> they smell different from regular people at this. And funny enough, the way they smell is so similar. I can't quite place it, but I know how to explain it. When I do that video, I will let you guys know what rich people or old money people smell like. They don't smell like sugar food. Don't let anyone lie to you here. This smells like old money. Trust and believe. Now, this is rose on rose on rose, like a fresh rose. Like imagine just peeling off a petal of roses and it's musky. It's a little bit sweet. This is so well done like i'm telling you guys the the way that Guerlain does their perfumes it's, it's not like it's not like other people like it's so unique 
and you feel like you are definitely getting a lot for your money now i'm not opposed to people that want to save their coins if you just want to smell good you don't really care then fair enough but i'm not like that i just don't want to just pick up a scent and just smell good i want to smell a certain way and i want to feel a certain way and certain perfumes in my collection makes me feel a certain way so i don't mind saving up to get <laughs> the creme of the creme of perfumes i don't mind because when i get these perfumes the feeling evokes i can't explain it it's like if you get it you get it if you don't i'm sorry the next perfume is angel nova by Mugla. I haven't reached for this in months and that's because I just forget about it. Now this has nothing to do with the original angel DNA. I don't know why they call the angel. They could have just called this Nova and we'll be okay with that. The patchouli is not here. There's no patchouli here. Although I love patchouli but I'm glad they didn't put it here. I think instead they had like a they added like a woody kind of scent in the base which really grounds this perfume the lychee in here is very sweet so if you can't afford or you don't want the delina-esque kind of scent you can actually go for this one instead this is way more likable it's way cheaper and i feel like it's really really addictive like when i start wearing this in the spring and summer i don't want to reach for anything else this one is also similar to carolina herrera's very good girl not exactly exactly similar but if you like that one you're most definitely gonna love this one longevity on this is a1 this is going to last you from morning until night time it has a freshness about it it has a sweetness about it it's really likeable and it's perfect for daily wear next perfume is luna by pen halligans now this one is kind of like a fresh aromatic rose it's quite watery i love the spray out of penhaligon's perfumes oh my god i just want to bathe in this perfume it's got a greenness about it and it's definitely a green smelling scent like right off the bat once you spray it you get a greenness but it's a fresh kind of green it's not like earthy it's fresh it's very very floral like you have to like a floral perfume that is a little bit mature is edging for that maturity vibe which is fine i personally don't mind it i just like that it's easily likable i feel like you can wear it to work you can wear it to any kind of occasion really it's very versatile and it's perfect for spring and summer never autumn never winter it's it doesn't work in those seasons but again you have to like a super floral scent to really, really enjoy this perfume. So that is Luna by Pen Halligans. The next perfume is an oldie, but a goodie. This is Cinema by YSL. Now you get a blast of Clementine in the opening. You get this happy feeling when you spray this perfume. I have had this perfume for such a long time. This was released back in 2004 and i've been using it for a very long time this may be like a sixth seventh bottle it's one of those perfumes that just evokes the most amazing memories of when i was in university and i just love it i feel like a lot of people will like this perfume a lot of people don't talk about this perfume and same i don't really talk about it much because People want to see the new stuff, like what's new. But I feel like we need to go back sometimes to the OGs because they are so much better than the new perfumes we're getting like in recent times in terms of scent profile, longevity, uniqueness. Um, this perfume is beautiful. I beg you <laughs> to please get your nose on it if you can. And I can almost guarantee that you won't regret it. So that is Cinema by YSL. The next perfume is Delina by Parfums de Mali. Now, this perfume needs no introduction. This is either a love or, or, or a hate, especially at first sniff. I hated Delina for like two years, if not even more than that. I could not get with this perfume. I didn't get the rave, the hype. I just didn't get it. But when I got it, I got it. Now, my favorite perfume is, especially from Parfums de Mali, is Delina exclusive. But I feel like Delina follows very closely. Now, Delina is a tart rhubarb and lychee perfume with a rose and vanillic dry down. It's very strong. It's super powerful. You don't need to like overspray to make this perfume last long on you. I love Delina. I will always have Delina in my collection. To me, 
it's one of those perfumes that really broke out in 2020 like together with baccarat rich 540 those perfumes really was making waves and for me they're still making waves i love delina and like i said i will always have it in my collection and last but not least is bronze goddess by estee lauder i bought this perfume last year and i used it once <laughs> just the one time i just didn't quite reach for it now this perfume is perfect for daily wear in the spring and summer i want to say is the best one of the best coconut perfumes i've ever smelled because as you know i'm not the biggest fan of coconut i find coconut perfumes a bit scratchy a little bit annoying but it's not that way in this perfume i feel like i like a coconut milk as opposed to just coconut now this is coconut and vanilla straight if you like perfumes like utopia coco by kiali you're going to love this i feel like utopia coco is one of their best perfumes but it didn't work for me i think i ended up either selling it or giving it away no i think i gave it away i can't remember because i couldn't get with the coconut but i can get with the coconut in this one this is also quite ambery and it's got sandalwood which kind of grounds it a little bit i don't know why i'm spraying this perfume so much today i feel like i just want to bathe in all of them um yeah this is good this is fresh this is coconut perfect for vacation um beach holiday like going out or just like just hanging out just even in the house if you want to wear this in the house it's not going to intoxicate you it smells really good longevity is average i stopped smelling this perfume because i obviously test my perfumes again before i do the videos i want to say it lasts about five hours and then it begins to settle down and it becomes a skin scent like a nice a light vanilla and coconut scent this is really really good and one more thing i hear people say it smells like suntan lotion no it doesn't not to me anyway so kind of after the back of your mind doesn't give me a suntan lotion vibe i think people just use the name bronze and equate it to suntan i don't know but when you smell it, it it doesn't smell like a suntan lotion but anyway that's just me so that is once again bronze goddess by estate lauder so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching make sure you share this video like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video this week bye